One Friday after school, I swapped our family cat for a scotch egg <laughs> and a smurf. <laughs> when my mum found out on Monday morning, she made me swap them back. Right. Please. Well, when was this, first of all? How old were you? 13. But more important than how old was he or anything to do with him, the cat. <laughs> what? I mean, seriously, we're very concerned about the cat. I am. I'm a bit more concerned about the Smurf, if I'm going <laughs> <laughs> I was concerned. The, the scotch egg, you just... What was your logic? Well, what, Would you well, hide it under your bed for a whole you, weekend? Why don't you three have a little chat, and when you worked out collectively what you're most concerned about, come back to me. <laughs> <laughs> Can I start? Please do. Okay. Okay. What okay. was the cat called? What kind of cat? What colour, please? The cat was called Snowdrop, <laughs> and as the name implies, it was Tortoise Shell. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you swap with? Uh, should I name him? I don't know, unless he's in... Prison uh, at the moment, and he's. Up. I don't know. I haven't seen him for a long time. It was a, a, a kid who lived on an estate oh, nearby. Okay. Just give us his first name. Lee. Oh. <laughs> Just with the Scotch egg. You wanted the Scotch egg. <laughs> you wanted the Scotch egg so badly egg. that you traded a living mammal for it. <laughs> And yeah. then you just put it under your bed for 48 hours? <laughs> to, to be fair, trading a scotch egg for a living mammal is exactly what's necessary in the manufacture process of a scotch egg. <laughs> you start off... People have decided they have live pigs, but they don't like the live pigs enough. What they want is no pigs but scotch eggs. <laughs> <laughs> right. Why did you want the scotch egg? I presume for the obvious that you like them and you wanted to eat it. Yes. Why did you just eat it there and then? Why didn't I just eat... You said you swapped them back again on the Monday. So why did... Which, which yeah. that, that suggests you still well, had what, the scotch well, egg on Well, hang on. on. I mean, Monday. was it the same one, or had you consumed it and then you just had to give a scotch egg back? That's right, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the <laughs> bloody Welsh <laughs> Mafia, this. <laughs> you can't help him out. <laughs> could I get back to the cat? Cats, obviously, are very territorial, so would the cat not try and come home? Because they normally mm. do if they've gone out away. He didn't. Not that weekend. <laughs> Talk us through the actual exchange process. I tell you what, Rob, you stand up. We'll go through it. Come on, I'll, I'll I am standing up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll role play it with you. I, so I'm right. Okay. So imagine I've got my family cat in my hand. All right. And you in with this hand, you have a scotch. Where, where, egg. where are we now, Rod? Where are we? We're, we're in uh, Wales. We're, are we in Wales? We're in Wales. Oh. We're in Wales. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Let's that, just take a minute. Let's nice just take a minute. It's lovely. <laughs> go on. Right. So we are in Wales. Yeah. I've got a cat in my hand. All right. Right. You've got in this hand a Smurf and a Scotch egg. Yes. Right. Now we swap them over. All right. Here we go. Right, this, this is how it happens. It's going to be difficult. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love my lord, and it was the mechanics of the exchange. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you can put the cat down now. <laughs> but gently, yeah. gently, Rob, gently, yes. So what do you think, Lee? Does this sound truthful to you? I don't think he's shown any affection for Snowdrop, and on that basis alone, I think it can't be true. Well, weirdly, I, the exact same reason, I think it, it is true, because oh. I know him to be heartless. <laughs> <laughs> I can show you some affection. What do you want to know about Snowdrop? I can show affection with Snowdrop. All right. How would you stroke him? Her. <laughs> nah, got ya. That, you have changed the sex of that cat at least three times. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you. You, you have. Want... I don't Fair. think vets should agree <laughs> to do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's always been a female cat, Sandra. What, what are you thinking, Rob? Are you, are you thinking it's the truth? It's really starting to crumble at the end here, so I'm, I'm smelling a lie. Both saying a lie. My team say lie. We will go with lie. OK, you're saying lie. Rod? Truth or lie? It is a <laughs> lie. <laughs> I was sacked from my job at a zoo when my boss found out I had been taking photos of the animals wearing <laughs> hats. <laughs> so, just to clarify, were you wearing the hats or the animals? <laughs> no, I was taking photos of the animals wearing hats. Yes, just to clarify, were you wearing hats or the animals? <laughs> Well, you think I was taking photos of animals while I was wearing multiple hats? I, I would say that in the world of oddness, a man wearing two hats is no odder than an animal wearing one. Can you give us some examples of animal hat combos that you took photos of? Uh, yeah, I'd done uh, monkeys in bowler hats. Of course. Cool. <laughs> 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 
I've done a hippo in a flat cap. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, well, I, I was going to call him a snake. It wasn't a snake. It was in the reptile house, but I don't know what he was, but he was wearing a fez. <laughs> Were these miniature hats? Can I can I ask Rod? Were these little animal what? hats or human hats? On the hats? hippo? Are you mad? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm thinking in the reptile house. I'm thinking a full-size fez is going to just hide the creature. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but what you're saying is, were the hats to scale? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Rod, were, the, were the hats to scale? <laughs> the hats. Uh, well, I mean, to scale is a grand way of putting it. But I would certainly try and, if, you know, try and make the hat fit. Right. <laughs> The hippo's head is actually quite a slippery affair. Oh, you've got to get the right hat. <laughs> <laughs> what was your what was your official role at the zoo? Uh, general dog's body, so basically. I, I get the feeling that if you were going to put hats on animals, you'd have gone for deer stalkers and bear skins. You know? I didn't say I didn't. Ah. We just oh. haven't got all the way through the animals. Okay. Oh, right. <laughs> you name a hat, you name an animal. Deer stalker. Uh, no, I didn't do a deer stalker. Oh. <laughs> I didn't have, have a deer stalker. It's it like wasn't a, a comprehensive. You can't cross reference every animal. But you had a fez. You had a massive hippo-sized fez. <laughs> 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 it was a regular flat you, cap. So what you're saying, what saying is, you... is, I didn't have every single animal in the zoo, and there wasn't every hat. I didn't cross reference every single combination of animal and hat. I just put some on some. <laughs> Where, where was this zoo? Was this a Welsh zoo? Was it Penstana it was, Bird Gardens? It was, uh, it was down in, uh, in Pembrokeshire in a place called uh, Oaksnade. Oaksnade? Yeah. <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's, a there's a chain of Snade zoos, isn't there? There's Oaksnade, Wicksnade. <laughs> and how did it all come to an end? What, what, what stopped this? I got caught. And who was it who apprehended you? It was the, uh, the manager of the zoo. Uh. As a zoo owner and manager, I wouldn't have been offended. I, I can't see anyone being offended by a fez on a snake and a flat cap on a hippo. I'd, I'd, I'd have been... <laughs> Just I'd, what the zoo needs. If, if, it's, if it's down there in South Wales at this oak snade or something, I'd, I'd have thought any little hat on a cat would have done the Why, trick. because it's a Welsh zoo? <laughs> aren't good enough in their natural habitat. We'd better dress them up a bit. <laughs> you racist <laughs> bastard. <laughs> What do you think? Well, uh, I'll ask my team first. I mean, I've never heard of Oaksnade Zoo. Have you ever heard of Oaksnade Zoo? <laughs> Is that the most you doubt about us? <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. I can't find a cup on a hippo. Have you... Oak Oaksnade Zoo? Not having it. Not having it. <laughs> My girlfriend owns a zoo. We, we tour zoos, and Oaksnade's never been on our agenda. Oaksnade, <laughs> the zoo that shares a syllable with Whipsnade. <laughs> yeah, I think Mackenzie's right. That is the, that's the chink in the otherwise impenetrable armour of plausibility. <laughs> that Oaksnade zoo doesn't exist. Um, I think we're very happy to say lie. You're saying it's a lie, so, uh, Rod, were you telling the truth, or were you telling us a lie? Well, chaps, I'm afraid I was telling... A lie! <laughs>《For one month, I chose to sleep on the streets rather than talk to the people I was supposed to be living with. <laughs> David Steen. And uh, at what stage in your life is this? What stage? Yes. Do yes. you mean how old was I? Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> Age? 20. Whereabouts? Where was it? Spain. What made you vacate your house? There was no house, and I never went to it. You never went there at all? It was uh, a hotel or hostel thing, you know, not a house. Yeah. I went there, stood outside... OK. ...looked at it... Yeah. <laughs> ..thought, nah. So it, it, it wasn't the people, it was the... the... It was the idea of the people. <laughs> you wanted to live alone and were surprised that a hostel did the full... <laughs> And you stayed on the street, the street, for a whole month. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, bar, you... bar a couple of nights here or there, yeah. Did you pull on the other nights? What, what happened on those? <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely right, yeah, that's what I'm <laughs> So on, yes, those, yeah. on those occasions, the thought of other people wasn't quite so low. <laughs> yeah. Where in Spain was this? It was in Salamanca, and I slept on a bench, right dead centre of a square. <laughs> How were you washing your clothes? Uh, I didn't. Well, how many pairs of pants did you have? I'm going to say four, but... Four for a month without washing them? I said four, <laughs> but it could have been seven. <clears throat> well, seven's not enough. <laughs> you need 28, otherwise you're in No, but it, it, <laughs> I, I, 
<laughs> I hate to support your own teammate against you, Lee. <laughs> if you're going to a place for a month, you might decide that you're not going to take enough underwear to have a fresh pair of pants every day without ever washing. How many pairs of pants do you own? I think I've probably got about... I, I've got maybe... Look at you, desperately thinking... <laughs> I think I've got about 14 pairs I'm happy with. Yeah. And another, <laughs> another four or five that would do at a pinch, and I use the word advisedly. <laughs> Predominantly <laughs> boxers or bikini brief? Um, <laughs> Predominantly... I mean, it's interesting that this is what the conversation's going <laughs> on. <laughs> Predominantly what I believe is referred to as a sort of trunk. Which you favour the trunk! Yeah. <laughs> I think you, mean, you mean the jockey short. Like a boxer short shape, but tight. Look, I'll just take my trousers <laughs> off and you can look. <laughs> I did, actually, I did wash a pair of pants. Oh, well, you oh. remember that. You remember. I did wash it's a amazing pair of how these things come back to you. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I chose the, square, the middle of the square was because that, there was a bin lorry that would come round every morning in concentric circles, just spraying from the side of the lorry, hosing down the square. I would, I would stay in the middle and then I would wash in the bin lorry <laughs> when it got to the centre, and one day I did wash a pair of pants on the hose on the side of the bin lorry. I did. Wow. I did. So you put... Hey, you... hi, girls. <laughs> <laughs> this is my friend Rod. Would you like a drink? <laughs> you, you put a pair of pants in the way of a bin lorry's hose <laughs> to yeah. wash it. I used to wash in the bin lorry... Well, the tap at the side of the bin lorry, yeah. So they wouldn't mind you sauntering up to the bin lorry and turning the <laughs> no, tap they on? No, were, they were very amenable, the local bin men, Miguel. Well, you got to know. <laughs> Did you learn the phrase, can I wash my pants on the side of your bin lorry in Spanish? Uh, se puede lavarme los, um, los underpants in Spanish, Rob. Panto bondero. Sí. <laughs> Panto bondero. <laughs> How many you pants have you my... got, Rob? I was just given a gift. It was my birthday recently, not that you'd know from any response from you. And <laughs> I didn't know you were still alive. Um... <laughs> Um, what did you get for your birthday? Oh, sorry, yeah, I got some, um... Old man, they forgot the story. <laughs> I got a lovely present anyway, on with the game. <laughs> Do you remember, got... Rob, you were telling us a lovely story about your pants? I got... Tell us about your pants. I got some pants. Yeah. Now, oh, so... Nice. Yes. <laughs> so, Roman Keating, what do you think? Yeah, I could see them doing... I could see him doing that. Toff, what about yeah. you? I think it's a completely insane thing to do to, do, to do what you did, so I think you're lying. There is a lot of detail. I'm going to go true. You're saying it's true. OK, Rod. Was it the truth or was it a lie? It was a... true! Yeah. It's Rod. I can't wear normal gloves <laughs> because I have an unusual hand. <laughs> Hey. Which of the two hands is unusual? <laughs> that one. <laughs> would, you, would you hold up your unusual hand? I'll show you some of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite an unusual hand. Is it, is it all gloves or is it just certain gloves? <laughs> Do you mean those really odd gloves with the <laughs> thumb and the four fingers? Because <laughs> they're on mittens. Yes. And they're called mittens. Yeah, but that's still a glove. No, it's not. It is. A, a mitten's a glove. No, it's not. It is. Admit it, admitten is not a glove. <laughs> can I just a... say, can I just say, you're both saying it like two people who aren't quite sure of the real answer. <laughs> you're absolutely right. You're I'm doubting myself. You're saying it with conviction, but neither of you know the truth. Well, this might help you. I could wear mittens, but I can't wear gloves. Ah, uh, you have... You've got webbed hands. Have you got webbed hands? <laughs> Have you got webbed fingers? Yes, I've got webbed fingers. <laughs> Is this you? why you couldn't play the guitar in Muck Spreader? <laughs> <laughs> I could draw... Uh, well, I haven't got a pen and paper, so I can't. So there OK. Is it I have gloves? pen and paper. Pen oh, and you paper. would have pen and paper, wouldn't you? <laughs> Are you going to draw around your hand? But yeah, not I'll... let us see? Draw around yeah, your right. hand, but don't... I'll, I'll come right. to you. It's all right. I've got to even it out. <laughs> <laughs> have a seat, sir. Thanks Thank for coming. You. Thank you, sir. Right, draw it. Go on, draw it. <laughs> draw it. <laughs> Do it. Draw, draw it. Draw around it. Yeah? Draw around it. Rob, you're you're to witness it, yeah. Well, I'm going to witness it. All right, okay. He's drawing round his fingers. Good God. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take it. Thank you, Rod. That must have been very traumatic for you. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it certainly was. <laughs> this is what Rod claims is the outline of his hand. <laughs> oh, so only one web on one hand. I've oh, known you yeah. for 15 years. You'd have noticed if I had a complete flipper. <laughs> <laughs> So, what are you going to say, Lee? Is this the truth? What do we think? <laughs> what do you think? I, well, I, I'm in the worst position to know because I've known him so long, I can't th think I would have known this. I weirdly think it's the truth. Why? Well, I feel like it was a very good drawing. You think that that... <laughs> <laughs> I like it! Do you not think... Do you not think if you didn't have one, <laughs> one man trigger that you couldn't have improvised that? No, because if you... Uh, I, I, I was assuming it was going to be fake, and they were all going to be webbed, but one being webbed is very... Maybe that's his attempt at five web lovers, and he's rubbish at drawing. <laughs> OK, what's it going to be, Lee? It's time to decide. No, I got it wrong on the trailer. Don't ask me anything. OK. <laughs> so you don't know? It's a lie. You think it's a it's lie? It's a lie. I, I got David wrong, so I think we should ignore me. Just... you, you do it. Ignore me. <laughs> so your advice is, I'm not sure, I don't know, maybe a lie, and <laughs> ignore, ignore me. me. Yeah. I've, re I've really got the winning team this week, haven't I? <laughs> so what's it going to be? Let's go for lie. Lie? Lie. It's got to be a lie. Saying it's a lie. Is... Rod, was Red it time. the truth or was it a lie? <laughs> <laughs> I once had a holiday in a Frenchman's garage. <laughs> Can I check if this is a euphemism? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, how old were you, roughly? I don't mean go. Oh, 17. 38? 30... Oh, this is oh, quite recently. Would it happened? Yeah. So you're 38, <laughs> right? Yeah. You're in France. Where, where is the garage? France. Where about's in France? <laughs> Northern France. Where about's in Northern France? <laughs> Brittany. In Brittany. Okay. So you ended up in Brittany. Southern Brittany. Southern Brittany. Okay. And you the northern ended... end of Southern Brittany. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, oh, that's just... Uh, <laughs> just south of mid-Brittany, isn't it? <laughs> 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 mid-Brittany, yeah. <laughs> What's the name of the town that you were in? The you in town, town where I stayed in the Frenchman's garage was van. You're in the van in the garage? <laughs> no. <laughs> the is, town... this how, is this how this mix-up happened? <laughs> I want a holiday uh, town... in a van. <laughs> Rod, Rod, let me speak to you as another Welshman. Maybe he'll understand me. <laughs> Ask me a nice, specific question. Did you book a holiday in a Frenchman's garage? No. I once had a holiday. <laughs> When you arrived in the in the village or town called Van, yeah, Van, yeah, did you already know you will be staying in a garage? No. Were all the hotels booked? No. We thought it looked nice in the brochure. Who did? Me and my partner. Partner? Girlfriend. Girlfriend. Now wife. <laughs> Blimey, that was a quick ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> OK. So you were going to Van... We you... went to... We went to Van. Right. Went to a tourist information place to... Because you hadn't booked anywhere. We hadn't booked anywhere. I'm with you. Right. right. What happens at the tourist information place? They said, what about this place? And we said, that looks nice. Lovely. There's a house with a nice Good. pool. Good. Looked nice in the picture. Yeah. So we, so we went there. So you right. got there. And, the... and when you got there... It was a garage. <laughs> Well, the house was nice, but we were in the garage. <laughs> was the garage decked out to look like a room, or was it just spanners and...? It looked like a room with a canoe on the side and a fuse box. <laughs> <laughs> Am I old before my time? But yes. At, at 38, you don't go on a crazy, we're not going to book where we're going. At 38, you want to know where you're going. We've yeah. got this nice, I'm with you, comfy Hal. room. Yeah. You know, if it is true, you totally deserve what happened to you. Mm. Um, <laughs> I didn't say I didn't enjoy it. So you liked the sort of... It was a deliberate rough... No, it was a disaster. Was it? <laughs> in the garage? Two weeks. You stayed for two weeks? <laughs> How much did you pay? It was very reasonable. I'm not surprised! <laughs> did it have any windows in the garage? No. And you said there was a swimming pool? Yeah, they had a swimming pool. You were allowed to use it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't help thinking that what you're describing is more of a hostage scenario. <laughs> And what about Mrs Gilbert? She wasn't Mrs Gilbert then, but what, how did she react? Because she's looking at you, Rod, the tall, strapping, handsome Welshman, what everyone dreams of. <laughs> <laughs> and you whisked her there. Was yeah. it not a little part of her that, that, that died that day when she saw <laughs> what you expected her to She wasn't very well, if I remember rightly. <laughs> Was it carbon monoxide or exhaust fumes? <laughs> All right, Lee, um, it's, it's a complex tale. Um, <laughs> uh, what do your team think? Absolute lie. It is a lie? Absolutely. 
Really? Mm -hmm. Based on just the floundering? Absolutely everything. <laughs> like what? It... All right, it did have windows. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking, Hal? It's like he's throwing in things that seem so ridiculous. And no, but nobody would go and stay in a garage without windows. But I think they wouldn't. Just... You're <laughs> Kelly <laughs> Hoppen, though, Kelly. <laughs> yeah. He's Rod Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> OK, what's it going to be, Lee? Truth or lie? Lie. Lie? Lie. Lie. I, I think it's true, but I'll go with my team and say it's a lie. You're going to say lie. OK, Rod. <laughs> Garage holiday in France. Truth garage or lie? holiday in the Frenchman's garage oh. in Vannes. Oh. Oh. 